Okay, okay. We haven't got long. So, this video happened. Allow me to candidly paraphrase the Quran. Look. If you don't believe, you're never going to believe. You are going to find some way to dissuade yourself, to make yourself it? truly can't get over it. So, so I've been watching Quran Revolution because everyone told me about Tajweed. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll see what that's all about. And I kind of love it. This isn't sponsored by them anyway. I'm just showing the love back. But on their website, this is really interesting. It says that you should be able to improve your Tajweed within Four months! Okay, slight correction. It says in four months you'll learn more Tajweed than you have in the past six years. Which is technically true, because I only learned about this in four months. So techni technically I was right, okay? And it's been about four months until Brother Wissam reacted to me. I can't believe it! You can tell I'm rushing because I'm not making any sense. What I meant to say is that it has been four months since I started watching Quran Revolution. And at the four month period is when Wissam reacted to me. That's what I meant to say. Alhamdulillah, like who could write that? I mean, not many people could write that, but I'm gonna to try to recite that. I've been trying to learn that because oh, I was so close to Asser time and I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Uh, in, in a previous video, I said the, the objective is what I actually want to do is to nail Al Fatiha. I want to give Adhan in the mosque. Don't ask me why. I'm, I'm just curious by it. Because Brother Wissam and Bilal, by the way, Bilal reached out to me. Thank you so much. I made dua for both of you that night. Um, I, I thought, you know what, I put my money where my mouth is. Uh, he's reacted to me, and you know what, I've been trying to replicate his Adhan from his video, this video. I'll link it down below. I got like two minutes, but it, it, it's acid time. We're pointing to the Kibla. We, we got one chance. You only got one chance to do it now. We ain't doing a million takes. We're doing it. Let's see if I've learned anything. Let's go. I'm not entirely sure why I walked into that room, but I'm going anywhere. Right, we got one chance. Oh, let's not mess it up, okay? Oh, let's go. <clears throat> if I shift my body weight, I'm going to throw everything off. That is such a niche reference that no one's going to get. It's not. Right, okay, we got, we got like 30 seconds to go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu la ilaha illallah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah
not perfect. Not perfect. The Arabic is, is, is still a struggle for me, but I know those who struggle are ordered more. And you know what? I, I think sometimes we shouldn't strive. We should have perfection, but we shouldn't strive towards perfection. There's no perfection but Allah. No one can tell me otherwise. Equally, you need to make the mistakes because the amount of people who are now going to reach out to me telling me where my mistakes are, I'm going to be conscious of those mistakes. The worst thing is being unconscious about your mistakes. But I hope this gives other people, you know, the want, the want to try, to, to try a dhan, to, to work on recitation. And maybe one day I'll give a dhan in the masjid. And I think that would be nice.